Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We did a vlog so you can enjoy this video. Make sure you make that every day. Hi! We disturbed Teddy. He was actually sleeping past 9 o'clock today. We woke him up to change him because we're going to James's. Ooh! Because we're going to James's favorite place in the whole world to get snacks. This is not our main destination. Before we go to Sarah's, only reason why she wanted to move back to Chicago was to go to the Air and Water show. She's one, a, of the, one of the top. I know. Seasons. That's and why we I made that joke. Because we were in Florida. Yeah. So. Oh, that's a skateboarder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's actually starting like right now, so we're running a little late, but <laughs> it'll be a nice walk. Jaded. Christina. <laughs> so all week we've been like cleaning, which that was always the plan. We weren't cleaning so this cards can come over for dinner, but that was the plan for them to come over tonight. Um, but we were going back and forth of where we were gonna have it. We finally said. But like we said before Friday, before like Friday and the business day, we were like we decided like because <laughs> then that's what like turned like really drove us to like cleaning, do some of the just start, it wasn't why, but it was a starter for a lot of like the spring cleaning or fall cleaning, or whatever you want to call it. But also, I wanted to get all the Halloween decorations out. But the shade I'm going to throw is we're now switching plans and we're going to the Sicards after the air and water show for dinner. It works better with everyone's schedule. But I think secretly it's because Christina is protesting us having Halloween out. And so she didn't want to come over and, and, ex and like, was, how would you phrase that? Like, by association, <laughs> approve of us having Halloween decorations out. So. By the way, we ended on a cliffhanger last night. We edited the vlog last night, got some more cleaning done, and we finished decorating. Well, we started decorating. We started decorating this <laughs> morning. So, there are like, decorations. We're like 75% there. Yeah. Uh, we'll finish the rest later tonight after we come back from the suburbs. One of the coolest and also scariest paths in Chicago is this like ramp down below Lakeshore Drive. Lakeshore Drive is just like on the other side of that six inches of cement. He's got his hat, he's got a swimsuit on, he's ready for the beach. How's our blanket? Not too bad. <laughs> we get here and James immediately plops to the ground. And Teddy, Teddy just fell asleep. You know, he's his, he's his mother's son. Whenever something, like, whenever something goes wrong, I just want to go to sleep and he, he had the opportunity. I'm trying to listen, the radio is going. The show has not been going on because of the rain, but we just heard on the radio that the bad weather has cleared out of the immediate area, but the ceiling, so like the cloud ceiling where um, the vision is, is really low, which is not a good thing right now because the planes need a high ceiling to see for visibility. Um, they said that they are going to get the show going and back running, but the systems are being made right now because there's not enough time. They probably only have the, the air clearance kind of thing until two or maybe a little after. So they're trying to figure out what they're going to show and bring out because not everything's happening. I don't know if that means water's going to get cut, air's going to get cut, or a mixture of the both. Um, oh, we're but we're here now. We have the whole beach. Yeah, lots of people. Practice all week. Yeah, <laughs> practice all week, hearing fighter jets all week, and meetings and nap time. But we're here today, so it's going to be great. 
We got sandwiches from Jewel, some fruit, and tater babies for lunch. Jamesy's just doing laps around our blanket. When Dad, he gets a potato wedge. Everybody comes around this way. He gets some pineapple. Here you go. Oh, you weren't ready. There you go. Yum. And we got Teddy protected. Relaxing underneath this cover. Wow, look at that baby. That's like a plane and a helicopter all at one. Osprey. That one's actually got some weather controls on it and they sent that one first to see what the ceiling of the cloud level was to make sure they can do these planes in a proper order. All right, now the propellers are facing up so it's more like a helicopter. these a lot like Camp Lejeune in North Carolina when we were at my grandparents house for my grandfather's funeral. We didn't walk that week but we saw a lot of these practicing. Wow. Whoa it's going backwards now. Eight times. Yeah. Five coming from behind us going north near our neighborhood going over our apartment EV can probably hear it right now and it's gonna come fly through like the two A10s. I saw it a minute ago. It was the first pass of the F35. Over here, just protecting our babies' ear drums. <laughs> I, got the, I got the headphones that like are like more of a strap, so. Relaxing, the big F 35s are away. We're getting ready for some oh, pair. We're getting ready for some uh, parachuters. parachuters to come out. There's bees all over me. I think I've got sweets from the fruit on my skin still. We almost missed it. This is a jump, that's the jump plane. 
Oh, look at that. We got a bunch of parachuters. Yeah. Uh, I think I cut 11. Alright, the Golden Knights. They're going. And Jamesy couldn't hang. Spider jet, so it's supposed to give you the juxtaposition of what fighter jets used to be. Compared to what fighter jets are today. I brought you guys so many times in my running path. But look at how many people here. There's, there's all these like vendors and corn and tequila <laughs> company and all these fun things going on over there. All lots, so many bags. I see so many Wait, sets of bags. Is see a rainbow cone? That means that they're somewhere here. Yeah. We left because. Like <gasps> Do you want to get one? I got one last time. Um, we left because it was going to be 30 minutes because of all the delays between the Blue Angels flying, which we've seen before, weirdly enough, because we're pampered and grew up in Chicago. We see, we've see we seen them quite a few times in our life. And I'll actually put the clip in here of me seeing them in Epcot recently. <laughs> So, so since we walked rather than driving, we're, we're going to walk back. Yeah. And they fly pretty far from, not far, they fly, they're flying from Gary, Indiana. Yeah. But like they fly far north, like by Wrigley, all the way south. Yeah. So we might see them as we walk. Oh, there's a big long line. Because all these north are like, what's this rainbow cone? No, they heard about it and they're like, I got it. Yeah. Okay, we're just walking. We might see another one. All of a sudden, our babies might be busted. All of a sudden, we hear like a vroom and a blue angel. I've never seen one fly that low. Yeah, that was it was extremely low over the lake. And it happened so quick <laughs> that I'm just going to keep my cell phone going because yeah, from like know. the distance between this tree and this tree, because it was out there by the lake, it was like literally. Ah, uh, yeah, I read, I read the side, side of the plane. Whoa. Okay, there's one coming up. We're farther north. Wow, I think.
Chicago, walking down the lakefront and the Blue Angels flying in formation. It's so close. There's only four again. Right. Alright, whatever you only see four. Oh, there's one. Sarah and I were just talking about how like we've seen the Blue Angels at Disney World and some other places, but never like this close. Like they're only just like they were probably flying just a thousand feet off of where like we run, right in in close formation. Like pretty spectacular. Right. I couldn't imagine being on these boats. Yeah. And we've seen the air water show here before, but from Oak Street View, it's like further down and not like the center Ooh. stage. They're like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just driving Sunday, Sarah. I'm like darting for the ears. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, bless you. He sees like a horse. <laughs> also. What a beautiful day it ended up being. Remember when it was like storming over us? It is storming. It's literally gorgeous. And we just a moment ago saw it as we were leaving Lake Shore Drive area. The Blue Angels flying in a really cool formation right over the beach we were on. So that would have been cool, but we've seen them before and the kids were. Yeah, we so got tired. to see them way more than I expected to. Like yeah. when they said the Blue Angels were coming in 30 minutes, I was like, okay, it's all right. But we got to see a ton while we were walking. That was awesome. And we still have to like get it was ready. Good at this so we'll have to get ready and go to the south side today. Yeah, for some dinner. Busy Sunday. Yeah. We're home. James was so happy to see his toys and see his nuggets. He's Who here so remember these? Oh, yeah. From McDonald's. Classic. James, did you enjoy sleeping through half of the uh, Air and Water show? Okay, we are home. We've got trick or treat on. <laughs> Jamesy might be changing to a Donald fan. He's laughing anytime he's on screen. Hi, good girl. Oh, good. It's so funny. What? One one little one is trying to outshine the other one in cuteness. Ow. Christina cooked us a beautiful Sunday dinner. Look at this noodles and meatballs and sausage. <gasps> Thank you. What's what's tomorrow? Nothing. School day. Ah! Well, it goes to school tomorrow. <laughs> Poppy's do with the knee. I am sad to report that I got sunburned today. I was tricked by the clouds and I'm embarrassed because I am a sun sunscreen queen. But thankfully, thankfully, neither of the boys have any sun. Peter got a little too. We're just hanging out in the in the Sicard's home gym. <laughs> What's going on over here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vivi's doing some repetitions. Wow, you're so nice. <laughs> go Luca, go Luca. <laughs> down, down goes Jamesy.
I like that ball change, ball change, ball change. Ooh. James Z on face. He's never watched Peppa Pig in his life. I just told Peter I'm embarrassed by my sunburn. I think I already said that on the vlog, but I don't like it. Don't like it. I like to treat my skin nicely. But it is 9.30 and Teddy and James are both asleep in their beds. What are we gonna do? We both have to work out still. Yeah. And I like wanna have a partner. Not because they're <laughs> they're away. I we wanna have a party because they're getting good rest. Yeah. And I'm like, what can we do now that isn't the easiest to yes. We don't have any chocolate cake. We finished the Klondike bars. I already did like my sword juggling for the day. I don't know, we do pretty much everything with our kids, so there's really nothing that we don't do right. with them. Jamesy wakes up. I go in there to put him back down. Fairly quickly, like five minutes, and I come out. And Sarah's relaxing on the couch. So snuggly in the snuggliest couch. But you didn't put the Halloween lights on. Halloween lights. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.